Hello and welcome to This Week in Plymouth for Tuesday, December 5th. I'm your host, Dan Salzer. Starting off this week, the Select Board met last Monday. The board announced the budget meeting schedule for the months of December, January, and February, with town meetings set for Wednesday, March 13th. To see the full list of the upcoming budget meetings, please visit the town website and click on the Budget Information tab on the top navigation bar. The first public hearing for the budget will be held on January 22nd at 5.15 p.m. during the already scheduled select board meeting. Also during the meeting, members of the public stated concerns regarding the speed on Highland Street. We have some guests this evening, uh, Cam Sinclair, Tom Cooney, and Mary Cooney regarding the speed of traffic on Highland Street. Well, most of you know me. Uh, I moved to this town with my wife and children in 1984. I took a position as a guidance counselor and wrestling coach in the Plymouth school systems, and we've lived here for 40 years. In those years, Highland Street was a pretty rough. Potholes, bumps, it was probably uh, where cars went the <coughs> slowest in, in the town of Plymouth. It's transitioned in the last five or six years when they dug up Highland Street to put in new water or sewer. I don't know what they put in, but they paved the whole top of Highland Street and uh, some other parts of it it's now smooth so it's been a blessing and a curse the blessing is it's smooth you don't have to go five miles an hour but the curse is uh, a lot of cars and vehicles see it as uh, uh, may as well call it highway 93 because they come up that road 50 60 miles an hour and you think i'm exaggerating come sit in my driveway i'm saying that uh, highland street especially at the top from where my house is at the top of the hill coming from the downtown down to the high school and elementary school is probably the most dangerous stretch of road in the town of Plymouth. I'm asking the select board, the town manager, police department, not to give lip service, but to do something meaningful that's going to stay put and take care of this issue for long term. A police cruiser was recently damaged during a motor vehicle accident which the board ended up voting to replace depending on what insurance says. Two Wednesdays ago, mm -hmm. <clears throat> just about 10 minutes of five, one of our police cruisers was involved in an accident on Tenney Mountain Highway. Um, it was a rear end accident. Our cruiser rear ended another vehicle. Um, our officer was injured, transported to the hospital, very minor injuries, um, was released from the hospital that night was out um, a couple days until she got released from her uh, primary care physician and will be back to work tomorrow. So I'll give you an update on that. We would like to have the purchase order signed. We're in negotiations with Primax, our property casualty carrier. Right now, the estimate that <clears throat> the appraiser put in on the cruiser was $13,000. That cruiser has a value of roughly $20,000. In New Hampshire, the state law is 75%. So $15,000 would put it at the total um, amount. We've asked the appraisers to go back because they missed a lot of equipment and um, some significant pieces to the vehicle that they didn't include in their yeah. appraisal, such as a radiator, such as different things okay. that yes. We've identified the other thing we did is reached out to Finishing Touches down on Route 3 South here in Plymouth and asked them to come take a look at the vehicle and give us what their thoughts are on it. What we're being told, it could be six to eight months to get parts for this vehicle. So hopefully Ann and I will have an additional call tomorrow morning to get some information to see if we truly need to move forward with the purchase of a new vehicle. Okay, I'll make a motion that we sign the purchase order for the 2023 Dodge Durango for $41,925 pursuant to us getting a rebate from either insurance or cash out. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 The select board also announced the tax rate for this upcoming year. All right, on to the hot topic of the evening, the 2023 tax rate announcement. So I have put together a memo for release upon approval from the Board of Selectmen um, talking about the fiscal year 2023 tax rate 
um, of 24 dollars <coughs> and 38 cents per thousand dropping from 3411 which makes it seven dollars and six cents less than the 2022 tax rate um, it goes through and talks about um, the different areas on the evaluation um, with regards to the increases that folks will see on their property taxes based on their new assessment. You're going to make it generally available? Yes. Yep. We'll get that out tomorrow morning first thing. If you need any more information about the tax rates in the town budget, please visit the town website for more information or call Town Hall at 603-536-1731. This past Saturday was the Hometown Holiday Parade, the parade that began at 5 p.m. with floats from various different organizations and businesses in the Lakes region, such as PRHS Marching Band, Ladders and Step Ladders, and the soon to be open Tenney Mountain Ski Resort. The full parade is available to watch on demand on our YouTube channel or throughout the month on channel 1302. In other news, the downtown construction has ended for the season. Granisi and Sons, who have been working on both the water and downtown drainage projects, will take a break from construction during the winter and will resume in April with touch-up work and final paving. A special thank you to the Granisi and Sons for all of their hard work they've been doing for the town this past year. Town Manager Scott Whedon has released his monthly message from the town manager for the month of December. It's now available on the town website under the town manager tab. Reminder that the new URL for the town website is www.plymouthnh.gov. Additionally, town email addresses have changed. Please visit the staff directory page online for the updated information. Looking ahead at this week's announcements, voting for the presidential primaries will be taking place on January 23rd from 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. The town's clerk office has announced that they will be hosting a voter registration drive on December 6th in the Hartman Union Building on the campus of Plymouth State University from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. The Recreation Department has announced an upcoming trip to see Disney on Ice on January 7th. The event was being held at the SNHU Arena in Manchester with a bus leaving at 12.30 from Fox Pond Park. There is a $40 fee and limited spots are available, so be sure to sign up and secure your spot today. Call or text the number on your screen to save your place. The Recreation Department and M&M Scoops have partnered to send letters to Santa this holiday season. Bring a self-addressed envelope with your name, age, and the top three gift ideas and your favorite Christmas memories written on your letter. Drop off your letters at M&M Scoops from 11.30 a.m. to 9 p.m. or at the elementary school from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. The PRHS Holiday Concert, Winds That Shake the Barley, will be taking place tonight at the Silver Center for the Arts at 7 p.m. The concert is open to everyone. PRHS will have a delayed opening on December 13th for Teacher in Service Day. There will also be early release on December 22nd to kick off the holiday break. There are two more meetings scheduled for this week. Pemmy Baker Regional School Board will be meeting tonight at 5 p.m and the planning board will be meeting on Thursday at 6.30 in Town Hall in the meeting room. Thank you for tuning into This Week in Plymouth. Remember, you can watch full replays of town meetings, PRHS sports, and other original content on our YouTube channel, and also watch on channel 1302. For all of us here at PBTV, thank you for joining us. For our executive producer, Jonathan Picard, I'm Dan Salzer. Join us next week for another episode of This Week in Plymouth.